Hi, my name is Maria and I'm a mathematician and today I'm going to teach you how to find the area of a donut shape. So, we are given a circular object with another smaller circle inside and let's say you are asked to find the area only of the shaded region, okay? So we're only looking for that outer donut piece. And the information that we're given is, let's say A is the center point of this circle, and we'll say there's point B, and there's an extension of it, point C, and we'll say that AB is three units and BC is seven units, okay? First, most important thing we need to know is that this is a circle and so is the inside shape. So we need to know the area of a circle formula. And that is area equals pi times radius squared, okay? Then we have to recognize that in order to find the area of only the shaded piece, I need to find the area of the entire circle and then subtract from it this middle piece's area. Do you guys all see that? If I take the area of the entire circle and then I subtract the area of the middle, I'm basically left with the area of the shaded region, right? It's like you bit that out of it and you're left with just the shaded region. So we've got to do area of the big circle minus area of the inner circle, okay? So now let's find out what the area of the big circle is. I'm looking for pi r squared, so I can leave it in terms of pi. I need r. What is the radius of that big circle? If you said seven, you spoke a little too quickly, right? Because that's not my radius. My radius is actually extending from the center of the circle. So it's the three plus seven. This entire thing right here, which has a value of 10, is my radius. So the area of my big circle is 10 pi times 10 squared, okay? And I'm gonna simplify that to 100 pi. We'll leave it in terms of pi. The area of my smaller circle is gonna be, three is my radius now, so it's three squared, which is nine times pi. So I'm doing 100 pi minus 9 pi. 100 pi was the area of my huge circle. 9 pi was the area of my inner circle. And if I subtract them, I'll end up with the area of just the shaded part. So that's going to give me 91 pi as the area of my donut shape. And if I wanted to, if my teacher said leave it in terms of pi, that's the answer. If my teacher said use 3.14 for pi, then I have to substitute that and multiply, and you'll get somewhere around 300. So, that is how you find the area of a donut shape.